Let's see a type 15 example. In each of the following questions, you must choose two words, one from each group in brackets, that best completes the sentence. So here's our example question. Pip is two, and then they give you a group of words here, and you have to choose one of these. As stone is two, they give you another group of words. Now, the relationship between pip and whatever word we choose from the first group has to be the same relationship between stone and the word you choose from the second group. So let's go through this example and maybe things will become a bit more clear. So Pip and Piper. Not really any relationship between those, although you have Pip at the start, but I don't think that's important there. Pip and Orange. Well, an orange does contain a Pip. Okay, Pip and Red. There's no obvious connection there, so I don't think that's the one we're looking for. So let's have a look at the second line. Stone and plum. Now, be careful here. This plum is very different from this plum. This plum is uh, a weight on the end of a string used by builders or carpenters to check if something's vertical, um, whereas this plum is the fruit. So stone and plum, there's no real obvious connection there. OK, so stone and pebble. Well, there is a connection because a pebble is a kind of smooth stone. Um, what about stone and plum? Well, yeah, actually, the, the inside a plum you have a stone. So remember here, in the first one, we had orange, and an orange contains a pip. So our answer to this question would be pip is to orange as stone is to plum. So on our answer sheet, we would mark down orange and plum. Now, in these questions, there are, there are various other things you need to look out for because the relationship isn't always going to be something is inside something. Um, other things to look out for are things like this one here. See this example where it says, weight is to weight as right is to right. Now, if you look here, in the first line, we have weight and weight. And they're what we call homophones. And homophones are words which sound the same when you say them, but are spelt differently. So you see weight and weight sound the same, but spelt very differently. And the same here with right and right. Other examples are opposites. So if you read this sentence, we have big is to small, big and small being opposites, as giant is to dwarf. Giant and dwarf are opposites. Here we have male and female animals. We've got ram is to you, as bull is to cow. So you've got male and female sheep and uh, male and female cattle. Here, this one um, is using anagrams. Now, anagrams are words um, which you can, you can rearrange the letters in a word to, to make another word. So if you look here, this, this one is actually a, e even a special kind of anagram because we've rearranged, we've basically taken the word and we're reading it backwards to get the other word. So if we look here, we have mood. If you read mood backwards, you get D-O-O-M, D-O-O-M, which is doom. And the same here, we've got star and rats. If you read star backwards, you get rats. So these, the link between this word and this word, and this word and this word, is that they're anagrams of each other. So that's how you do type 15.